All right, guys, so another Tailwind tutorial, and we'll cover about minification of our CSS and also um, making sure that we are targeting the right relative path. So you go into the template that HTML in here, template one that HTML that I created. Um, this one is already working, but if you click on inspect elements and um, click on the output that CSS thing, they are not minified. And like, well, this is fine, it's readable, but like normally like the best processes is you can, you should be only using this one for dev or development. So like we wanna make our um, pages as lightweight as possible. So minifying it would be a great practice. So how you can do that. So if you go into the Tailwind documentation, um, get here. So let's type in Tailwind CSS minify. And you go in here, actually this one. There's a code in here. It says you just need to run this in order to mini to create a minified version of your CSS. There's also other thing. If you are using less or SAS for a preprocessor, you need to um, add that plugin, but we will not cover that in this video. I'm going to create a separate video for a preprocessor. So yeah, so how you can basically what it means in here is you are calling the tailwind.css. We're building um our like we're building the CSS and then creating a CSS file that is in minified version. Okay. So go let's go back to our Visual Studio code. And then I'm going to go into my terminal, click on this one, terminal, actually I already have in here. So you can, you can just remove this one. Okay, terminal, why I'm doing that. But anyway, so click on get bush, I prefer get bush. If you want to know the part one series of this one, um, you can check the link description below. I cover about how you can use, um, install the Tailwind BSCLI. Okay, so like we will be putting, we will be, we need to type in npx tailwind css o for an output and then build that css is the name of the css file. But let's say I want that minified version of css to sit on my disk folder. So what I'm going to do is put in a relative path and then SRC. So relative um, period means the root directory, which is HubSpot template and a source folder. And let's say I wanted to put that on my disk. So this, that, and then I want to call it, I want to call it output because my CSS here is already output. So I'm going to put that output slash min so I know that this is min a minified version that's CSS and then type in minify. Okay. So, what is not working? Um, so it says specified minify does not exist. SRC output. Um, it's okay. I have a typo. So npx again, tailwind css o dot src dot this output dot min dot css, and then there should be a hyphen, and then type in minify. And it should generate a minified version output that minify in here. So once you already have a minified version of your CSS on your template, you need to replace that with the minified version. 
So let me double tap that right now. Again, when I inspect the element, it's still reading the output. So like here, output.css, which is not the minified version. So you can just type in min.css and then refresh. And if I refresh this and inspect the elements again, I'm not sure why I have a problem with my internet on my computer it's not an internet because this is a local computer but anyway so output that min it's already minified why this is not not this is not minified um hold on so it should be minified version so let's refresh And if I inspect and click on output, so you just need to replace that. Okay, that's the minified version, and then. Um, if you want to, let's say I want to put all my HTML into a one folder so it's cleaner, um, you can just create another folder. So I, I created a separate folder called templates. And then under the H, the link style CSS, all you need to do is just have that extra thing in there. So basically it's targeting the root directory. So if I'm going to refresh that again and do that it still work so just remember if you are creating a folder so this is the html file and then the output the css is already out of its scope so um you need to target the root in order to make your um in order to render the css so yeah that's how it works Hope it helps. And if you have any question, let me know. Um, if you have any topic that you want to cover on my next video related about Tailwind, comment down below. I have another part three series for this one. And it's more about integrating a Tailwind um, styling into HubSpot. <laughs>